When I started doing the vlogs, I liked to tell stories about different saints, and I would pick saints from all over the world. But one country I haven't yet picked a saint from is Canada. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but Canada has many saints. Today, I picked Saint André Besset. He recently became a saint. His life is quite fascinating, so I'm going to tell you his story today. André was born in 1845 in the province of Quebec. Now his family was extremely poor and André had 10 brothers and sisters. When he was nine years old, sadly his father passed away in a freak accident where a tree fell and killed him. Three years later, his mother passed away and at the age of 12, André found himself an orphan. With his mother gone, he struggled to earn enough money doing odd jobs just to survive. He wasn't that intelligent and he was illiterate. He could barely write his name. However, he did have one strong asset and that was his faith. He went to mass all the time and his favorite saint was Saint Joseph. One of the priests saw how devout he was and kind of kept an eye on him and eventually suggested that he join this order of the Congregation of the Holy Cross. He knew that Andre would probably become a saint. However, the order turned him down because he wasn't in the best of health. So, at some point, the Bishop of Montreal went to the order and asked them to please accept him. So they finally did, and he became a brother. And a brother is very similar to a nun. Nuns we call sisters, and men that belong to orders we call brothers. Because Andre wasn't very smart, the superiors didn't really know what to do with him, so they decided to let him work at the college. Not teaching, of course, but to work as a porter. And a porter was a person that would answer the door when people would show up on the doorstep of the college. He did that for 40 straight years. When he wasn't answering the door, he would do odd jobs like cleaning and visiting sick people. Now, if people went to the college, the first person they would meet was Brother Andre because he was there answering the door. And that was really part of God's plan. Because when people would meet him, they would start to tell him their problems. And Brother Andre would counsel them and encourage them. And he would bring them in and have them sit and talk to them. And because Brother Andre loved St. Joseph so much, he would encourage people to pray and ask St. Joseph to pray for them and to help them. So people started doing that and their prayers started to become answered. There started to be healings. Problems in their life started to be solved. And all of a sudden we saw people lining up to see Brother Andre. He loved St. Joseph and so he encouraged people to continue asking him for help. And because of that, he went to his superiors and asked them if he could build a chapel or a shrine to honor St. Joseph. Once it was built, people would flock to the shrine to be healed. That chapel soon became way too small to fit the multitudes of people that would come and visit. So the Brother Andre then went on to build a huge shrine that became one of the most famous throughout the world. At the age of 91, Brother Andre died in 1937. 
And at that time, in his obituary, the newspaper said that over one million people came to pay their respects. The shrine in Montreal is still there, the St. Joseph Shrine. And people from all over the world to this day come to that shrine to, and healings happen. When you enter the shrine, you will see piles of crutches and wheelchairs and braces and all kinds of things that people have left there because they were healed while they were there and no longer needed them. Also, the shrine houses Andre's tomb. In the year 2010, the Pope declared him a saint. It's possible that Saint Andre inspires us to love Saint Joseph, because through our love for him, Saint Joseph will show us how to be closer to God, the Father, and Jesus Christ. May God bless all of you.